This is the River Thames near Windsor and each year in early August we hold a boat rally. It's also a cruise and these are the boats getting ready in the morning to uh, journey upstream. There's uh, Julian's uh, beater engine and uh, in a moment we'll see Malcolm's engine there, yes, and uh, we're going upstream towards Brunel's sounding arch, the famous bridge near Maidenhead. This is Norris's latest engine and uh, it's a compact design, it is a beater, and here we are in the lock, going through the lock, it's always very clouded, and uh, it's as many boats as you can get in, and then the water level rises, and we come out the other side. Here we are, recently released from the lock, that's Norris's old engine, some years back, and now his latest engine, and uh, there's a big difference in size. And coming behind us, yes, a canal boat that was in the lock with us, but also Julian's boat. Norris here is pointing out that he's got exactly the same cruising speed from an awful lot less of an engine. The size is smaller, but the power is the same. There's progress. Uh, our boats get better. Ooh, you meet all sorts of craft on the Thames. And uh, yeah, they don't come in ones. There's two or three of them. This is us arriving at the lawn near the sounding arch upstream near Maidenhead and uh, we're coming in to tie up. Uh, Malcolm's engine there, a rhombic beater, been performing very well for many years. So four boats actually made the journey. It's about six miles, three miles up and three miles back and there's the famous brick arch in the background. We gather here because we can take uh, visitors and we have our picnic and uh, it's a good meeting place for uh, as many people as want to come and people who want to have a ride steering a sterling boat. So uh, this boat has, it's my boat, I'm in the front, it has a double rudder and shortly uh, Lisa will pull both strings, both rudders will be pulled at right angles to the direction of flow and you'll see the boat almost come to a stop so she's controlling it prior to going into a mooring and uh, now she's going to speed up a little bit so that she can get round and here she is steering at reduced speed uh, taking it in uh, to tie up. The double rudders work. This is our return journey, we're queuing here uh, to go through the lock um, and we're learning also whether to turn, when to turn our engines on and when to turn them off uh, so that we can go in and out of the lock conveniently. But it's not just about engines um, in boats, here's an engine getting ready for coming into a boat. This is Julian's new Gamma and it's getting ready for an exhibition there and this is Adrian's um, beta going into his hull which we launched to uh, establish the stability and uh, the trim. So our new fleet now has five sterling powered boats and if you wish to come and take a ride come along next year and we will uh, give you a chance to steer a sterling boat on the Thames near Maidenhead Bridge Brunel's sounding arch. Thank you.